So in this Power World video, we go over the most popular glitches to see if they still work after the latest Power World patch. This is the version 0.1.4.1 on PC and on console it's version 0.1.1.4. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ. Before we go any further, I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Winners will be picked from the comments section and announced in a couple of days, so good luck with that. Okay, so some of these glitches you may know of, some you may not know of, but I will not be around the bush for people who are well aware of said glitches. I've been testing them all morning and will just fire off the ones that definitely still work. I will then, after showcase how each is done for people who don't know, all will be timestamped down below. Okay, so the material dupe glitch that works, the one where you use uh, the perimeter of your base to dupe items, then dismantle said items to get materials. Yes, this still works wonders. Again, a full guide on each will be later on in the video if you don't know how these are done. Okay, so capturing tower bosses also still works as it did before. Farming dungeon chests where you skip the boss also works along with the fact you can rotate dungeon bosses all still work perfectly. The glitches with the black market here all still work too. This includes catching him, taking him back to your base and using him as a power vendor. It includes hitting him and cancelling him attacking you, uh, cancelling that combat animation so you can take him out easily. And the latest which I covered which is grabbing his attention, moving him out of his spot, placing down those campfires uh, where you more or less just farm him AFK for that gold. These still all work perfectly fine. The sweeper damage stacking glitch also still works perfectly. This will allow you to gain more or less infinite damage output. The die wolf launch glitch also still works fine too. Building bases right next to world bosses to farm them also still works. Having an ice power capable of freezing world bosses and you having a launcher will still one tap all world bosses in the game. Perfectly fine. The three ways to instantly revive powers still work. These include dropping them from your party, adding them to that viewing cage, uh, and going to sleep with them in your party too. These all still work. The over encumbered grapple hook strat still works as it did before. And the two PC only glitches with the egg duplication glitch and transferring of a single item, no matter the quantity, all still work perfectly fine. Okay, so now we'll go over how each glitch is done. If you do not know, again, timestamps will be down below if you're looking for an in particular glitch that I've already mentioned. Okay, so we will start with the sweeper, infinite damage output glitch. As you may know or may not, when you have a sweeper in your party paired with Sweeze, the sweeper's stats rise. Now you can take advantage of this and more or less glitch it out so you can constantly rise these stats and it's simple to do. With a full party of Sweeze and a sweeper as your main, pull the sweeper out and mount it. So yes, you will need a saddle here. Once you are mounted on that sweeper, go into your party and drop the Sweeze. Once they're all dropped on the floor, jump off your sweeper then pick all the Sweeze back up. Mount the sweeper again, check its stats and you'll see they have all raised. And you can do this as many times as you want. And those stats, as far as I'm aware, will keep on raising. So yes, a great glitch. Now the Die Wolf launch glitch is a handy one for beginners as it allows you to travel about the map at an even quicker rate. A saddle is needed on this one though but I'm pretty sure it's a lower level to do this. So how this works is you're just having good timing. You press its main attack of Fierce Fang. As the pal is just about to launch you simply press that jump button. If you time this right guys you will fly a ridiculous distance and it's pretty cool to do. All it requires is that good timing, but it's great for early players to get around the map even quicker. Okay, so moving on and you can reset and rotate dungeon bosses by simply running back on yourself from the encounter. So once you go into a dungeon, you go up to that boss room, uh, you see a boss you don't want to fight, or if you want to try and catch a certain alpha power and it isn't said alpha power as this dungeon boss, simply run back on yourself, then run back to that boss area and it will have rotated. Awesome. You can also guys skip the boss encounters within these dungeons and grab those high level chests for absolutely free. The only requirement for this one is you have a power which you can mount. This also works with any dungeon at any level, it doesn't matter what level you are, the dungeon is, you can do this as a low level in a high level dungeon as long as you can get to said dungeon. 
Now, a great tip for lower leveled players who want to try this and take advantage of this glitch, wait until night time as 9 times out of 10, all pals including the bus will be asleep. But again, if you get to that bus encounter and the bus isn't asleep, run back on yourself, go back to that bus room and it will have rotated, do this until the bus is asleep. But yeah, enter that dungeon, locate the bus room, run towards where their chests are and you'll be met with that barrier. Now get as close to this barrier as you can and then simply throw out that mount. The mount should appear on the other side of this barrier, do it until it does. Then once it does, simply mount that pal. Simply press that mount button. You skip through that barrier and you are on the back of your pal and you are free to grab those chests. Simple as that. Okay, so if you want to farm world bosses or you want to catch one but you can't because you just get slapped, a cheese method you can still do if you are at a point where you have a disposable base is build said power box as close to that world boss as possible. Then guys, put all your best powers in that base section of that power box, then simply kite over that world boss, the one you want to take down or even try catch. Your entire workforce will then attack that world boss. Just make sure they're unaggressive. And it should be an easy kill for you or hopefully catch. Another way to more or less one tap any world boss while the ones that appear in the open world, not in mine shafts or dungeons, is to have a ice pal capable of freezing uh, other pals. Uh, pals like Trust Dalian with that blizzard spike are amazing for this. And then having a rocket launcher. You simply now guys freeze said pal with that move, then shoot that pal with that rocket launcher and watch them skyrocket. The full damage kills them, simple as that. This is a hit and miss though I will say, about 7 or 8 times out of 10 it will work, so the majority of the time, but it, this is when you will have to test out for yourself. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it ain't, but yeah, do what you gotta do. Okay, so there are 3 glitches or 2 glitches and a trick you can use for the Black Marketeers, the higher leveled power vendors. So if you know of any on the map, you can use this with them. Firstly, if you manage to catch one, you are probably well aware that you can take them back to your base and use them as a base vendor. But you can also restock their power stock by simply putting them inside of the power box and bringing them back out. This goes with a viewing cage too. But if you want to farm them for that high amount of gold and those gold keys, there are two tricks you can use to do this and where they won't fight back. The first one is a little harder to do, especially if you're a low level player, this will take ages. You simply go up to the black marketeer, you hit them and press that talk button at the same time. This takes them out of that combat animation, yet they will still lose health from you hitting them. This can also be done with a pal out also. Make sure your pal is an aggressive. When your pal attacks said vendor, you simply just spam that talk button. This will keep knocking them out of that combat animation. It is a little hit and miss though, so it can be a little tricky to get down, especially if you're a lower level. Now the much better way of doing this, especially for those lower level players, is to grab their attention so they follow you away from where they normally stand. But it's vital you know exactly where they are standing, so maybe create a marker at some point. But yeah, grab their attention by hitting them and get them to move away from said spot. Once they do, use a pal to keep their attention away, where you go and build 4 campfires on the spot they normally stand. Once those fires are down and built, you are good. From here guys, you can simply quit out the game and rejoin. Once you rejoin, you'll see that that Black Marketeer vendor is standing and burning on the spot on those campfires you just put down. His health will drop actually pretty quickly. From here guys, wait until he gets to a real low health and then land a hit on him. Now you need to land a hit on him because if you don't, when he dies, he will not drop that loot for you. So make sure you get a hit on him, but when is that real, real low health? So once you get that hit on him, when he dies, his loot is yours. Then guys from here, you can simply just back out of the game, rejoin, and he'll be there again on the spot on them campfires for you to repeat this process. And you can do this until you're absolutely loaded. Okay, so there are three ways to instantly revive your powers that all still work after the latest patch. Now, if your power is KO'd and they need that 10 minute spell in the power box, these three tricks delete this warrant for this timer. So let's go. Okay, so firstly, with that pal in your party, drop them on the floor. Then fill that space up with any other pal so your party is full. Then simply pick that pal up off the floor, they will go into your pal box, and then you will notice they've been revived. Simple. Another way to do this is put that pal in that viewing cage. So yeah, put them in that viewing cage, take them back out, and that KO timer is gone. They're ready to go again. Another way to do this guys is have them in your party then go to sleep. This only works at night time though so keep that in mind but when you wake up all are fine. 
Okay, so the duplication glitch, one of the most popular ones in the game. I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this, but if you don't, this is how it's done. So the dupe glitch. To do this, guys, it's quite simple. This works with more or less any material in the game, and all it requires is for you to have enough of said materials to craft an item in which uses the materials you want to dupe. For instance, a fridge takes refined ingots, polymer, ice organs, and circuit boards. In using this item to dupe, I will constantly be refunded these materials, the materials needed uh, for this item without actually spending my own. So we are more or less building for free, breaking that item down and getting said materials back for the said item. So to do this guys, head to the borderline of your base. Once here, build a storage container. Make sure you have no materials in your inventory in which is used to build the said item you want to dupe for those materials back. Then while standing inside your base's perimeter, bring up that build menu and select the item you want to dupe. From here, all you need is good timing and you want to walk out of your base's perimeter to where it says insufficient materials this warning on screen is absolutely vital as you need to place the item down on perfect sync of when this warning comes on your screen if you time this right you'll build the item without spending your materials from here guys cancel the item put the materials in that storage container we just made and repeat the process you can see the overall materials you have on you when you build said item and then you can see if it's working because that material will slowly raise after you do this dupe quite simple Okay, so capturing tower bosses, this still works. To do this, guys, head to any settlement or anywhere on the map where you know there is a friendly NPC. Simply attack said NPC so you get that wanted status on your screen. From here, guys, fast travel to the tower boss you want to catch. Once here, enter the tower boss fight. You will notice the NPC is chasing you uh, due to that wanted status or also enter the fight with you. From here guys, you do not want to attack the tower boss, but instead try and make them fight each other, the NPCs and the tower boss. Once they attack each other 9 times out of 10, the tower boss glitches out, walks into the corner and stands there. From here, use any sphere and throw it at the back of that tower boss, make sure it hits them on the back. If done correctly, you catch the tower boss and it's yours for good, as simple as that. A word for warning though, these tower bosses can be used as base powers, they can be used out in the open world to battle other powers, but when it comes to breeding, they are kind of bust, and they do not equate to any calculations you may have with breeding, so don't use these whatsoever. Also guys, the grapple hook still works perfectly when you are over in combat, one of if not the best ways to basically transport items to where they need to be. Okay, so lastly guys, we have two glitches that work on PC only. And firstly, we have the egg duplication glitch. This one's simple, but it only works on servers where there is a timer on that egg incubation period. So if you're playing private and want to do this, put that egg timer down to one or up to one if you're on zero. So place an egg inside that incubator. Wait until it's almost cooked. So more or less when you've got like 10 or 15 seconds left. Then simply enter the egg incubator inventory, press and hold that left click on that egg and then press tab. Keep a hold of that left click until the egg in said incubator is complete. Uh, once it is complete guys, you then want to place the egg you are holding in a storage container or put it in another incubator, it doesn't matter. From here guys, you can then finalize the process on that said egg we just duped. And there you have it guys, an egg that you just hatched as well as an egg you just duped and put away somewhere. Simple as that people. Okay, so the other PC only glitch works a bit like the last one. So if you have a single material, but the quantity of that said material is too heavy for you to move with, use this trick. Press and hold that left click on said item, then press that tab button, obviously keeping a hold of that left click. You can now move freely around wherever you want to move, but you are holding that said material. This basically allows you to move across your base with a single material, no matter the quantity of it, uh, without being over encumbered and slowed down. A great way of moving items across bases. It is just a shame it's for single materials only, but it's still a great way to do it. Me personally, I still think the grab hook is the best because you can do it with multiple items at once and it works on console too. So yeah, but there we have it guys, 15 plus glitches that still work after the latest patch for Power World. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.